princess the artist so i am here today to go ahead and show you guys another eyeshadow look today it will be another cut crease look and i'm going to do something a little bit different so i'm actually going to do um something a little bit more detailed in my eyeshadows along with 3d glitter everybody knows i love glitter um and then also this is going to be a prep for valentine's day look so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead and just ring that little bell right there just to know that when I post new videos, just to keep you guys updated, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get into it. So as you guys can see, I've already pretty much prepped my eyebrows already. And I've already used the concealer underneath it just to clean them up. So now we're just pretty much ready just to go straight into the eyeshadow. So the first thing I'm going to use is the eye primer. This one's called Painterly Paint Pot. This is from MAC. And we're going to use this pretty much as the base for the eyeshadows. Okay, so now that we have our base on our eyes, okay, just like that. So now we're ready for the eyeshadows, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use a fluff brush. This one is from MAC. This is the 286 brush. I'm gonna use this to blend out my colors in the crease, okay? So the palette I'm using actually today is gonna be, this one is the Juvia's Place Masquerade eyeshadow palette I will be using this color here okay so I'm just gonna put this right in the crease area okay and I'm just buffing this all the way around in the crease area okay okay so now we have our first color on the eye so now we're actually gonna take that same color here and we're just gonna apply it right on this side, okay? Okay, so now that we have both eyes done, so now we're actually going to go into the James Charles palette. I'm gonna be using more of this color here. It's the same exact brush, okay? Go right into that crease as well. Just right in the socket part here. And we're just gonna buff this color in the eye. So now we're gonna go into the crease again on the left eye. Okay. So now that we have both of our eyes done with both of the colors right in the crease, okay? So now we're actually gonna go in with a little bit more of a purple color. So we're gonna use more of this color here. And we're gonna put this right in the crease here, just like so. Remember, you're still buffing the eyeshadow in the crease. Okay, so now we're ready for this eye, okay? Okay, 
So now our next color would be from MAC. This one is called I'm Into It. It's a really pretty burgundy color, like a burgundy purple-ish. This one is really, really pretty. I'm actually gonna use this one right on top of the other colors that's in our crease, okay? We're still gonna use the same exact brush, okay? Just pretty much going in in the crease to really darken that up. Okay, so you're actually gonna have colors that's gonna be similar to these. So now we're actually ready for um, our darkest color, which is gonna be a really, really, really pretty rich black. And it's gonna go pretty much kind of like halfway. So I'm going in my James Charles palette again with this black eyeshadow. And I'm just putting this right in the crease area here, okay? So now that we have our black eyeshadow on, same thing on the opposite side. Okay, so now that we pretty much have all of our shadows in our creases that we're going to use, so now we're actually going to go back on the lid color here with our eye primer that we used from MAC that was painterly. So we're just gonna put a little bit back onto the brush. Um, this is our brush here. This is the brush that we used for the eye primer the first time we applied it on. So we're just gonna pretty much go back into the eye primer, just a thin layer. So I'm actually just going to put it all over the bottom of my lid. So I'm taking a really thin, thin, thin amount of product um, that's on the brush, super thin, and that's gonna create the cut crease look. Okay? I'm just gonna go right into my socket area. Um, so it's gonna be above my actual crease, just so you can really see the eyeshadow that we're gonna put on to the lid, okay? Okay, you can also take it all the way over to your tear duct if you like. This part is optional, just to help kind of bring down that line here that we formed to create the cut crease. I pretty much took a thin layer. I'm just gonna trace over what I already have done. And I just brought it all the way over here. So now we're ready for our color to go right on top of the eye primer, which will be all over the crease as well. And then just going to extend all the way to the end. So I'm going to use my James Charles palette again, and I'm actually going to use this light pink color here. So our next color we're gonna use is going to be this one. It's pretty much like a light purple in the James Charles palette. And I'm actually just putting this right on the end of the eye. And I'm kind of blending it inward into the lid. This is the Juvia's palette. We're gonna be using this purple color here. And we're actually just gonna put this one right on top of that first light purple, all the way on the end, okay? Look, she look just like this. 
Okay, so now the next thing that we're gonna use is, this is by Too Faced Glitter Glue, and we're also going to use the MAC 3D Glitter in Pink. So with these two, I'm just actually just gonna add it right back into my crease. So pretty much what I'm gonna do is I'm actually just gonna take the glitter glue and go all the way over here in my crease. This brush is MAC 210. On here, I do have the product on here, which is the glitter glue from Too Faced. So next, I'm actually going to do my mascara. This one is by Benefit Cosmetics. This one is called They're Real. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna actually put this one on, okay? Okay, so our next step is actually gonna be our lashes which are the Maxillus lashes. These are from MAC. I do double stack my lashes because I do like them long and I do like them dramatic, okay? So I'm actually putting my lashes on off camera, okay? Okay, you guys, so this is what your eyeshadow should look like. Okay, so I just did also a white eyeliner underneath my eyes just to really pop out the eyeshadow look. And also I put on a nude lip, you know, and also I still don't have any foundation on or any kind of powder. Um, so I'm just kind of waiting for um, the, the dermatologist to pretty much tell me if it's a okay to wear foundation. But for right now, I'm not wearing any base right now, but I hope you guys absolutely loved my video today on the show and teach on how to do another cut crease. All right, well, you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Bye.